What is going on guys and welcome back to the Vancouver Canucks B a GM mode So in the last episode we went ahead and we finished off the year and it was not pretty it was not good It didn't turn out very good at all We finished last in the NHL for the not the second straight year because we we actually weren't in the bottom last year we We're we definitely in the bottom three but we ended up winning the lottery and we ended up uh, drafting Austin Matthews last Last year, so now we're in the opportunity where we actually have the last place. So we do have the first overall pick. That is before the draft lottery. And I was looking up what players to take, and you guys laid into me. You guys know that I am absolutely terrible at pronouncing names. I called this guy Argentino or something, and it's absolutely ridiculous. His name is Argento, not Argentino or anything like that. It is Argento, and uh, he's actually listed as the top skaters two top fives Nolan Patrick which we really don't need but we do need a defenseman and this guy brings up a please this guy brings up a decent comment. He says, X-Tech, if you have the first overall pick, you should definitely draft Argento. Um, if you have the second or third, you need to get the highest right winger available because you need someone to play with Austin Matthews. So that player would be uh, Keith Cope, who is a 19-year-old playmaker, or it would be Jack Webb. So there's there's some players available. There's a Russian right there, Ty Ronning uh, right there. Um, they that's actually Cliff Ronning's kid. Um, there's a few players available, but I would really, really like a defenseman. A defenseman is exactly what we need for this team. We have our forward prospects. We somewhat have our defensive prospects, but we definitely 100% need a need a franchise defenseman. And uh, that actually, you can you actually look there. Joe Gattenby was the top-rated skater, and I did an off-camera GM mode, and he turned out to be like 97 overall. I think he was drafted like 50 overall or something but he was like 97 overall he got to be just insane so we'll definitely have to look out for him but uh, someone here said Stephen Lord Lord Stephen he says you should show us the prospects uh, sorry you should show the overalls for the prospects game so you can see the overall of, of the players so we'll definitely do that here uh, look out for some high 70 overall guys like this guy uh, he's a 71 overall 66 that's that Jack Webb guy uh, anyone else here Charlie Roy that's Argento that's the 65 overall two-way defenseman honestly I think we're gonna end up drafting him uh, O'Donnell this guy no really high 70 overalls uh, anyone here 71 that's that Joe Gattenby you see he's 71 overall that's why I'm hesitant to take Argento because this guy I know I've seen him get to like 97 Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Nathan Noel is 73. So a lot of high overall players coming out of the draft. He looks like the highest. 73 is. Uh, yeah, that guy's only 60 overall. Uh, that's another defenseman who's five overalls better than Argento. Like, Gattenby 71. You know, he's six overalls higher. Um... Oh man, I'm not too sure about that. Goaltenders, uh, Brendan Johnson might be the first overall pick. He could be really good. Legacy and Trombley. So we pretty much know what we have to do going into the draft here. We're looking for a defenseman. Honestly, I really hope that we don't get knocked down to like third or fourth or anything like that. Daniel Sedin actually called it quits. Uh, here are your retirements really quickly before we go into the draft. Aginla, Le Cavalier, Daniel Sedin, Scott Gomez, Camel. Larry. Some big names are calling it quits. Uh, let's go all the way down here to Vancouver. I don't think anyone should retire yet. Yeah, no one's going to retire from the Canucks. And Ryan Miller and Roberto Luongo, two ex-Vancouver goaltenders, both calling it quits. So the trading block, do we want to put anyone on there? Yannick Weber for sure. Uh, we're not going to put anyone else. Who are we going to put here? Darren Helm. I'm hesitant to put Helm on the trade block because this free agency could be really sick. You could have players like Tyler Johnson on there. He's an RFA this year. I was just looking it up. Look at Austin Matthews, now at 84 overall. Hampus Lindholm, now at 88. We can put Markstrom on there. Markstrom, Weber, and that's probably going to be it. Um, we could put, like, Prust on there. Uh, Hunter Shinkarek's probably NHL ready next year. Vasilevsky, no. Vertanen, Yakupov's at 87 now. Look at that. 
guy. He's only got one year left, so we can lock him up, hopefully for long term. But that's going to be it for the trade block. Let's hop into the draft, and we'll see what kind of spot we have here in the draft. Hopefully we don't get screwed over, and we lose the draft lottery to the Boston Bruins. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Game plan here. Oh, man. What do I do here? So if they take Argento, which the Bruins love screwing the Canucks over, uh, we'll have to look at either trading down, trading to like the fifth overall spot to pick Joe Gatton because I think he's going to drop. He's listed as a top 10. So they'll probably take either the goalie or they'll take Argento, whatever their need is uh, coming into the draft here. So hopefully they don't take Argento, uh, but it's not the end of the world if they don't because Joe Gatton be, I don't know, something tells me to go pick up that kid because I seen him get to be like 97, but uh, maybe that was just a fluke. I know every GM is different, but in two separate GM modes, he's a top 10 pick. So who are the Bruins going to pick? They pick the goalie. Okay, they def they picked the goaltender. So we have a few choices here. Argento, who is the obviously top overall defenseman, 6'4", 200 pounds, two-way, good Canadian kid from Halifax. Or there's Joe Gattenby, who is a two-way defenseman. He's a year older than Argento. Ah, uh, Joe Gattenby, two-way defenseman from Kelowna. Do I pick the BC boy or do I go with the high overall skater? You know what I should do? I just had a thought here while I was uh, trying to think here. I should get like a Skype call with like 10 of you guys from the comments and if I have a GM question when I'm recording, I can hop on Skype and ask you guys what should we do and you guys can help me out because I could, I could really use my assistant GMs here. I could really, really use your guys' uh, input here but I'm going to go with Argento because of the four green stars but I think I'm going to regret not taking Joe Gattenby 73 overall out of the draft oh man 73 as opposed to 65 that's that's something that's something for sure Joe Gattenby oh man look at his skate he's got 95 agility right now his defense isn't very good his physical has actually 94 uh for the body checking 99 slap shot power already 20 years old Puck control 88. Really? His puck skills is five green star. Did you see that? Five green star for Joe Gattenby. Oh my god. Okay, let's compare that to uh, Argento. Argento is... Oh man, it's not that bad either. I think Argento is better scouted. That's why I think that um, Joe Gattenby, his, uh, his, his, um, his draft ranking isn't up there. He's got really sick stats. Oh, man, I really want to go with Joe Gattenby, but the comments, you guys are telling me to go with Argento. But, Joe, oh, this is really hard. Okay, so the way I look at this is either way we're getting a future defenseman, a number two future defenseman here. The thing is, I'm looking at Joe Gattenby's stats coming out of the Prospects game, and they're sick, okay? Every single stat has, like, a 90 in it, except for the senses, like... His accuracy could definitely use some work, but his shooting is 99. His skating, his agility is 95. His speed is 87. His puck skills, puck control 88, passing 85. Physical category is 94. His defense, stick checking 87. His discipline, all that stuff could use some work. So you go ahead and you put that to Argento, and Argento has like mid to low 70s for basically everywhere. His highest stat is his speed at an 85. So I'm kind of at the point here where do I go with the stats or do I go with what the uh, what it tells me? I'm gonna go off the board. I'm picking Joe Gattenby. I'm doing it. I I mean everything tells me he's ready to go right now. 73 overall. His stats are sick. I'm going with Joe. I'm doing it. I'm going off the board. I'm making a wild GM mode choice here. Joe Gattenby, welcome with the second overall pick, and they pick Argento. So I didn't see that uh, their stats were so different because. Oh, maybe I just really messed up there. Now I'm second guessing myself, but I'm doing that simply because I've drafted players that have been 65 to like, you know, 66, 67 overall, and they take two or three years. They take a while where you get a player who's 73 overall already. You know, he can be ready in like a year, you know, it doesn't take three or four years. So that is why I did that. It's a little bit sketchy. It's a little bit off the board. Trust me. I understand that. Uh, we're just going to quick sim that. 
that. We don't have a third round pick this year, so we'll probably just auto sim the whole thing. But that's why I, I did that. I had a hunch. I'm going with it. You know when you just have like, you know when you just have that uh, that inner instinct. It's like you know what? It just it feels right. It really does. So maybe actually since uh, the Coyotes are in our division, we'll have we'll have an Argento Gattenby career battle. Uh, we're going to be facing Arizona a lot. We're going to see. Uh, we're just going to see. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, so let's have a look here. Let's go to the resign stage. That was stressful. I didn't think it would be that, that stressful. Um, okay, so let's do this right now. Quickly, let's check out how Joe Gattenby is. So Joe Gattenby is four and a half star, 71 overall. Okay, that is a great pick. Look at all. I mean, he's ready. He's ready. Absolutely, he's ready. 71 overall. So let's go to Arizona here. And let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at him. I think he's uh, where is he? Okay, Argento is 65, four and a half stars. He doesn't have the stats that Joe Gattenby does. So honestly, I think that was a great choice. I think it was fantastic. Their the potentials are the exact same. Okay, he doesn't have the four green star like I thought. That is totally fine. So check out the goaltender that was actually drafted and Brendan Johnson. Those goalies do not come by very often. Four and a half gold stars. So that's sick there. I want to see who took uh, the rookie skater uh, Nolan Patrick. So I actually forgot to check who it was. But let me have a look here around the NHL and we can see what he is looking like because there's a lot of people who are telling me to go draft him as well. But I want to see what he's looking like. So let me just quickly find him here and then I will show you guys. Alright, so Nolan Patrick is 60 overall but I think because he's so young. He's only 18. Like he is fresh out of junior. Like fresh out of junior. This kid is young. Uh, he's definitely going to be a project there for St. Louis, but let's get the resign stage completed here. So uh, quickly, we'll go ahead and we'll go to this. There you go. Before I actually do this, here is some. Uh Frederick Anderson art that uh, someone made for me. What a guy. Fucking right, Nashville. That is actually hilarious. But thank you for that. Let's get the resign stage completed here. And then we'll hop into the uh, hop into the free agency period. And we'll see what is available there. So Prust, we're just going to cut our ties with, with Prust. Get out of here. Hamilton as well. Goodbye. Bertuzzo, not even worth my time. Lyndon Vay, he's a decent fourth liner. Maybe can play in the A this year. He wants a two-way deal, so that's totally fine. Fine. C Cash, my boy. C Cash, yeah, I will give you a two way deal as well since you're only 80 overall. Andre Panan will tender you. Hutton will definitely give a contract to. Uh, he wants a two way as well. So if, the, so if the NHL does not pan out, that's totally fine and for us. Uh, yeah, so if we want to lock him up long term, it's going to be 6.1. How about a five year deal for 5 million bucks? Nail Yakupov making $5 million for the next five years. You'll be 28 once your contract's up. That's going to be a good deal for the the both of us. So there you go. Tender to you. Hunter Shinkarek, definitely give a contract to. He can hopefully be a key piece of our team. Brendan Gauntz, exact same thing. I don't know why they made him a winger. I'm pretty sure Brendan Gauntz is a centerman, but uh, Bo Horvat definitely going to give a contract to. Absolutely. He only wants a one-year deal, hey? Only a one-year deal. You know what? I will give you your one-year deal for $2 million, Bo Horvat. I like to keep my team happy. I'll give you what you want. One year is all you want. That's totally fine. You want a year to prove yourself? I like it. I respect it. There you go. Uh, Danny Bryan, there you go. We can give you a contract. Guess that was a guy we drafted in like, the late round. Uh, true. Alexander True. True. True, true, true. I think he's a Finn or from Denmark or something. Uh, this guy, three green stars. That might be something for the future. Uh, where we got here? Tate Olsen, uh, two and a half green, I guess. Uh, I Sure, I guess. Uh, Carl Neal, he's a guy we drafted in uh, 2014. Oh, well, we didn't draft him. The Canucks did. Uh, Julian Gauthier, definitely giving you a contract. He actually played on Team Canada's World Junior Team. Uh, what do we got here? So Hanley. All these, all these decent prospects. Three and a half stars. Absolutely. Three stars. Jacob Friend. What a friend. Jacob Friend. Three stars. I think we got him like the seventh round or something this year. Seventh round. 181st overall. It's not bad. 64 overall. This guy we drafted last year. Given contracts. 
for days and days and days. Joe Gattenby, there you go. I took a chance on him and I think it paid off. Now, Dubo, we gotta give a contract to Dubo. Look at the hair on that guy, what a guy. Uh, goaltenders, we're not gonna re-sign Jakob Markstrom, but we are going to re-sign Andre Vasilevsky. He wants a two-year deal at 1.3. That is even as hell for me. Two years deal at 1.3, I will definitely take. We're not gonna re-sign Markstrom. We're gonna find a goalie in free agency. So we have some free agent needs. That is 100% sure. We need to get some wingers for sure. We're pretty good down the middle. We got Helm, we got Austin Matthews, we got Bo Horvat. So I'm thinking it's going to be Bo Horvat, Austin Matthews, Darren Helm for this year. That's just what I'm thinking. But uh, Cash there, he's there, good to go. Nail Yakupov re-signed. Honestly, I think everyone is going to be good to re-sign. Ben Hutton, Lyndon Vay, Hunter Shinkarik, Brendan Gauntz, Hanley, yep. Oh, we have a, a full roster. All these guys are saying we have a full roster. So we actually have a lot of players that we tendered to that will probably have to trade a bunch of our no-name players. Ooh, Ryan Johansson is a free agent. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You can see there Ryan Johansson is in free agency. He is available. If Ryan Johansson is available, I do not care. We are signing him. Absolutely no question. 127,000% we're signing Ryan Johansson. Yes, yes, yes. He is coming to our team. He's an RFA. Oh, my God. Look at this free agent pool. Oh, my God. Ryan Johansson. Re 8 million. Oh, boy. Ryan Johansson. You're coming to Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah, no question. There's no question about this. You're coming to Vancouver. Absolutely. We have $18 million in cap. I can't think of a better way to spend $8 million. It only wants a four-year deal. I just got so excited. And Tyler Johnson. Oh my god. There's so many players. Pavel Datsuk as well. Thomas Vanek is a free agent. Oh my god. I scored 40 goals last year. We could get Thomas Vanek. Oh my god. Okay, so if we sign Ryan Johansson, okay, say we sign Johansson, I'll give him nine million. I don't care. We're getting Ryan Johansson. If we sign Johansson, that means that we got to trade Darren Helm. That's exactly what that means. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. First off, I want to trade some players so we can have some room because we have 48 players under contract. We're gonna have to dump a few players for anyone to come to our team. So uh, we'll just dump uh, the 23-year-olds. Yes, you. Uh, Cedar home, yes, and Nicholas Jensen, who was actually traded today uh, for uh, Emerson. A third for all these guys go through? No. How about a fourth? I don't even care at this point. Cool. A fourth round pick for three players we weren't going to use. Let's do that one more time. Let's get rid of uh, Derek Dorsett, who's actually a big cap. We can honestly dump that for like uh, a third. Will that go through for Dorsett? No. I we'll have to get like. A fifth. Oh, yeah, it's going to take a lot to, t to get rid of this guy's contract, actually. Uh, New Jersey, let's go to New Jersey. Maybe they'll give us a fourth for Dorset. Yeah, they will. Okay, so we've alleviated some cap. We have 44 players. Let's sign Ryan Johansson. Maybe even maybe even sign Thomas Vanek. He's got two years left. He'll be 35 when his contract's up. We'll deal with that after we get Ryan Johansson. I'm getting Ryan Johansson. There's no, there's no way about it. I'll give you 8.8 .8 million dollars a year. 8.8 .8 to come to Vancouver. 8 point, I'll give you $8.85 .8 million to come and play for your hometown, to come play for the Vancouver Canuck. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. He's a UFA. <laughs> No! No, no, no. Okay, it's not bad. There's still Tyler Johnson. Tyler Johnson is available. He is an RFA. Oh, I got so excited there. Why didn't I check, Ryan Johan? I got so excited. That's fine. That's fine. We can save a bit of money and we can get Vanek and Tyler Johnson, okay? So let's go and get Tyler Johnson. We need a number one centerman. Uh, we can have, like, oh, that means Horvath's going to play the third line this year. We could convert Johnson to a winger. He doesn't have very good face-offs. We could play Johnson on the wing. We could definitely do that. We could have, like, Matthews, Johnson, and Thomas Vanek. That would be so sick. That would be unreal. We could definitely, definitely 100% do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's give Tyler Johnson a contract. I'll give you... He wants seven years, though. I feel more comfortable like a five-year deal for seven mil per. 7.2. Okay, yeah, 7.3... For five years. I like that better. 
You'll be 31 when your contract's up. Five years at $7 million. I like that. 7.3. Okay, hopefully you come to Vancouver. Thomas Vanek I want as well because I want to make the playoffs next year, you know? I want to be close to a playoff team. He scored 40 goals last year, so he's obviously looking for a payday. I'll give you $6.3 million for two years to come play for the Vancouver Canucks. You know what? 6.4 because we really need a scoring winger. 6.4 for two years. There you go. Okay, so now we need a backup goalie. Okay, we're getting things done. Oh man, we need a starting goalie. We could get Ben Bishop. Oh boy. Oh, but he wants... Oh my god, this could be a trade. This could be a uh, free agency to remember. Why not go get Ben Bishop is my question. Why not? He wants 6.3. Uh, hold on, 6, 12, 30, 40, 50. That's enough money. Yeah, okay, we'll, uh, we'll definitely have enough money to go get these guys. But we're going to have like 3 or $4 million in cap afterwards. But why not go get Ben Bishop? Why not? There's no reason why we shouldn't go get Ben Bishop. We need a starting goalie. Vasilevsky is unproven. He's listed as a backup. I'm getting Ben Bishop as well. We're going all out in the free agency train here. I'll give you $6.9 million. The reason why I'm overpaying, and I know it's not ideal to overpay for these players, but the reason why I'm overpaying is because we're paying them to come to a struggling team. They're coming to a team that has finished last in the NHL two straight years. They're coming to a rebuilding team. That's not a that's not a that's not an appealing aspect to a big ticket free agent player. But if if we can get those three players, my God, will I ever be happy. I'll give you an extra $10,000. That's how much I want you to come to Vancouver. Okay, so we made our we made what we wanted. We didn't get Ryan Johansson, biggest disappointment ever, like ever, ever, ever. But I'm still concerned about us not having enough room, so I'm gonna go ahead and trade some more players, bunch of no-name guys, because I really want those three players. Okay, so we should be good. I just traded uh, I traded a bunch of players. Uh, your dream rep has dropped. That's fine. Because we just traded a bunch of players for picks. I'm waiting to see if these players are coming to Vancouver. We are gonna. We are pretty much going to be the Vancouver Lightning. Because we got Tyler Johnson, Andre Vasilevsky, and Ben Bishop. Hopefully. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping these players come for the money. Play for the money. Come to Vancouver. Thomas Vanek is here. Ben Bishop is here, and Tyler Johnson, baby! We got them all. We got the three players that we wanted, and we still have $3.7 million remaining. Okay, this is nice. This is going to be a long episode. I don't even care. We're doing stuff. We're doing things. Okay, so how is this going to look right now? How is this going to look? We got a new starting goalie, a new first liner. We got a whole new first line. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. What a free agency. We went all out. We had money, and we spent it. Okay, so we have a problem now. We have a problem with our forwards. We have too many skaters. So my first line, we have Yakupov too. So we got Johnson, Yakupov, and Vanek. That could be our first line, okay? Our second line could be Horvat, Matthews, and uh, Yannick Hansen. So we're going to have to move someone to the wing. We could move Bo Horvat to the wing. He's got 82 face-offs though. I would like to play Austin Matthews down the middle. I think we're going to go Horvat, Matthews, Hansen. Obviously, Matthews playing in the middle. Horvat playing to the wing. Horvat's still young. He could play on the wing. That could be that could be sick. Okay, then we could have Killorn, Alexander Semin, and uh, either... Okay, or, 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 or we could play Vertanen this year because he's probably going to want to play in the NHL this year. Um, what to do? What to do. Okay, so uh, we still have Darren Helm. We have too many players. We have too many players. Helm's a really good third line centerman. So we can have Helm, Killorn, and Vertanen, and then maybe trade Alexander Semin right now, uh, and then have Fontaine, McCann, and Seacash, or something along those lines. Then defensively, we could have Lindholm, Edler, Tanev, Shen, Hutton, and Morrissey. I just traded Yannick Weber for a pick because I think Morrissey's going to be NHL ready next year. So what Let's see if we could trade Alexander Semin. Um, oh man, there's still. I just want to see the uh, free agency here for any sort of uh, prospects that we could go ahead and snag up that have decent uh, potential wise. And then I will go ahead and skip all the way to the end of the year. There's just like JT Miller who's available. It's a very deep free agency. Very, very deep. So let me have a look here. Looks like no one. David Runblad, no. Radula, 26 years old, no thank you. Any goaltenders available? Mackenzie Blackwood absolutely you 
will be coming to Vancouver. That's a hell of a goaltending prospect right there. I think that's it. So we'll see what our lines are looking like at the start of the year. And I may wait on trading Alexander Semin right now. Um... But wow, what a free agency. Uh, okay, so he is coming to the team, which is nice. I mean, I feel so dumb about that Ryan Johansson thing. That was so stupid. But uh, I will see you guys at the start of the year. Wow, the past three years have flown by. Since we picked you to head the Vancouver Canucks as GM, uh, it's the final year of your contract. We're making the playoffs this year. We are definitely making the playoffs. Um, JT Miller hasn't even signed yet. That's crazy. 87 overall still has not signed. Okay, so... Let's have a look here. Ven Yakupov's an 88. What the hell? Are you serious? Holy shit, Yak. Look at that sniper. a boy. Okay, so this is kind of how I'm planning it. Uh, Vanek's an 86. He went down from an 87, but he's going to score 35 goals this year. He's sick. So that's how I want my first line to be. Okay, so before I deal with the second line, we got to see what the... Uh, I thought I had an extra player there. Maybe I was just adding someone twice. Maybe I'm just being really, really stupid. Uh, okay, so we're not going to play McCann in the NHL is this as a depth forward. I am going to play Jake Vertanen and I will play Josh Morrissey. J Money, baby. So it's send down uh, who was the defense? They had Ivan Provorov, who's 81, but he's listed as a depth player. Alexander Semin's only an 81. He's got to go. Uh, Ivan Provorov, send you down to the minors really quickly. It's going to be a long video, guys. I apologize, but uh, that's what it's looking like. Uh, Joe Gattenby's still there. He's going to play in the AHL this year, which is kind of nice. Goaltenders, we want Bishop and Vasilevsky. That's perfect. Uh, uh, okay, so let's see here. Austin Matthews, Killorn, uh, Jake Vertanen could possibly play the second line with Horvat and Matthews. I want to get your guys' opinion on that before we pull the trigger. Then we could have Killorn, Helm, and Hansen, which could be sick. And then Seacash, Vey, and then go trade Alexander Semin. Jake Vertanen could play. He's listed as a fourth liner. Would overplaying him really hurt? He has the skating. He has the shooting that can keep up with Matthews and Horvat. I like that line. I like that a lot, actually. You guys can let me know on that. Uh, defensive, Lindholm, Edler, Tanev, Sh Luke Shen, Hutton, and Josh Morrissey. I love that. That's perfect. Josh Morrissey, we've had him score 45 goals in Winnipeg. He's a beast. Power play is going to look like that. I'm fine with Josh Morrissey on the power play. Killorn, Alexander Semin. I'd rather, instead of Killorn, I'd rather give uh, Jake Vertanen the power play time. Play him with uh, whoever we end up getting, a fourth liner. I'll definitely change that up. But... But I think that's not a bad idea. Bishop and Vasilevsky, we look a lot better than we did before. I was thinking of having Yannick Hansen there, but if I could have a sniper there, that would be really, really nice. I would prefer Johnson to be a playmaker. You know what? Screw it. He has 90 passing. What am I worried about? Dude's got 90 passing. I am fine with that. He's going to have a sick year between Yakupov and Thomas Vanek. Horvat, Matthews, Vertanen, Hansen, Helm, Killorn, X player who don't know who it is. Linden Vey and Seacash. So my ideal thing would be to try it's gonna be a longest video. Oh my god. I might split up into two parts. I don't even know. Probably not though. Uh I mean we'll have to go ahead and look at we have so many prospects too. Like look at our prospect pool. Um Rookie skaters, Jake Bean, Ivan Provorov, Sam Steele, Joe Gattenby, Jared McCann. Actually, I want to see Arizona. Uh, where is he? Argento, his trade value is crazy, though. His trade value is nuts. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea not to take Argento. Um, maybe. I don't know. That's It's interesting is what it is. It's very interesting. Honestly, I went with my gut, and that's where it happened. Look at that defensive core. That's going to be sick. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, we got a find a trade partner to trade Alexander Semin. It's not going to be easy, but maybe we could add a prospect in there of some sort, a smaller-ish prospect to go ahead and trade Alexander Semin. Uh, he had the one year here. It's not going to work out. We could probably get a decent fourth liner, someone that has good discipline, someone that I like. It's going to have to be a left winger. Uh, Nathan Gerby, no. Malone, no. Someone like 81, 82 overall. No one here. Colorado. Just to give you guys kind of a, kind of a look. Scott 
Hartnell too much. Jason Chimera, that might not be too bad. Uh, Rusil, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you guys can have a look. You guys can let me know. And then I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Uh, wow, what an episode. I wish we could have got, uh, wish we could have got Ryan Johansson, but it didn't work out like that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around for this long ass episode, but everything had to be done. Welcome to the, uh, Vancouver Canucks. All of the ex Tampa Bay Lightning players who we got. Wow, what an episode. I'll talk to you guys later.